Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to World of Warcraft. Let's get rid of that. And again, five gold. So this, this, this is what I'll do. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna list everything at five gold. The same with these scale ones right here. There's a few of them on here. That's not mine. Someone else has listed that at five gold. So five gold seems to be the accepted standard. And that's what I'm going to do with all of these. Like, everything I've got here, five gold, except for the shirts. I was listing that, well, there's none found this time, so I'll list them at five. I listed the shirt last time at seven gold fifty, didn't I? That one can be five. Sears gloves right there. Sell that one. And then we've got the embossed leather gloves. Five gold again, maximum list those and that's it that is all the stuff i got everything else is soul bound we can't use it oh but we do have the beer basted boar ribs 150 gold there's no way we're gonna get 150 gold i don't think we're even gonna get 25 gold i don't think it's gonna happen but i'm gonna keep being optimistic about this and i'm gonna keep listing it at 25 gold i had some others we also had the blood sausage recipe right there so I'm going to list 63 gold. No, I'm going for 25. I'm going for a realistic one. And then pattern red woolen bag. 370 gold right there. Let's push the boat out on this and try for 50 gold first time round on the red woolen bag. I can't see it happening. I can't. Abs I absolutely cannot see it happening. But, well, you never know. You never know, it might actually work. So we will leave that one there. Now I've got a couple of items. I've got an Earthen Ring Pathfinder Dungeon Master right there. There's someone sitting on a pig! jack o lantern Hogrus Swine of Good Fortune. How do you get that one? How do you get Hogrus? Mounts. Hog. There we go. Hogrus Swine of In-game shop. Right, you've got to go to the in-game shop to get that one. So that is, that is, you know, something that I could potentially do one day. Not today. What can I get for you today? What can I get for you today? You can take these items off of me. I've got a few. That's soul bound. That's soul bound. Uh, that's it. Beldrast. Uh, just Beldrast. Yeah, okay. We're not going to sell, we're not gonna sell anything else. I'm going to leave that like that. I've got a few items of food there. I've got... Wait a minute. Whoa. Oh, sweet. I... Pressure didn't... Are they soul bound? I had no idea. Look, this is, this is an item of... That is a very sweet knife. That is a very sweet knife. You know what we're going to do? We're going to keep one of those, but then the other Thresheton teeth, the, the, the knives, I'm actually going to go Reagent Bank lets you put stuff in there. We purchased it for 100 gold. I'm not going to purchase that just yet. What I am going to do, though, is I'm going to keep one of those as a souvenir. I'm also going to keep that one so that we can learn its appearance later on. And I'm going to put that one up there, and I'm going to put that one up there. But what I'd also like to do is not the Moonberry Juice. These are preserved items right here. Beautiful preserved fern, the black trilobite. All, all of these that we get, I'd like to keep them. Rather than selling them, I'd like to keep them. That's what I'd like to do. I'd like to keep all of my um, archaeology artifacts. Just, just for now. I may not necessarily do this on a permanent basis, but just for now. Now, these threshed and fangs, the, the, the knives... Oh, see, has got trouble. He's got trouble. I had no idea that this was... We'll see how much it is. Um, I'll type in a second. Let's, let's, let's see what people are offering for these. Uh, search. Threat, no, uh, th th there's none found. Well, there don't appear to be any threshed and fangs on there. So we're going to pop into here. We're going to go to max. And I'm going to go five gold piece. Now, they're only grey, so they're only going to be sort of for dressing up purposes, but somebody may decide that a Thresheden Fang 
looks pretty good on them and decide that that is what they would like to be running around the countryside using. So who are we to stand in the way of their dreams? We will allow them to do that. I've done everything that I want to do here, so let me get back down to the bottom and we can start doing some of the quests around in the wetlands. Now, there's a couple of quests down here near me, and there's a quest right there. I'm just wandering up this way to see if the dude at the front has got any quests, which he doesn't. We went in there and sort of finished that bit off, so now what we'll do is we'll wander around this area and we'll pick up any other quests that are here. Greetings. There's a lot to do here, Hunter. We need to keep an eye out for the gifts of fate. When the flood rolled in right over our houses, it swept a good number of ocean dwellers with it. Many little bays full of crabs now, large and ripe for the picking. When life gives you crabs, go crab fishing, I say. Bring me back the largest, meatiest claws you can find, and I'll pay you. Life bless you. Right, we need to go and catch crabs, and... Great to meet you! My son Gimlock's the light of my life. It warms my heart to see him playing with the other children. I can't help but worry, though. There's sharks not but a few feet away in the bay. It's deep enough for one to swim its way here. I can't bear it. Please, you're clearly one dwarf that's seen tougher situations than us townsfolk. Would you get rid of those nasty sharks for me? Or at least a few. Safe travels. I will see what I can do. Right. General supplies in there. What can I get for you today? Okay, he hasn't Be got good. anything in particular in there. I'm doomed. It has awoken. Be right back while I go and feed him. Okay, so Sia is off to go and feed his monster who has awoken. Um, I will, well, at the moment, I'm, I'm not having to worry about my own monsters. First mate, Fitzsimmons. Greetings. Greetings. I was once first mate on the Wave Mistress, ship of the line in Kaltira's third fleet, the Doomed Fleet. Doomed. For on its last voyage, the fleet was attacked by red dragons. Dragons controlled by orcs. We didn't stand a chance against the dragon fire, and our fleet was burned and sunk off this here coast. I'm the sole survivor of those poor vessels. Bring me my mead, Hunter. It's down in the cellar of the inn. As far away as I put it from me, I can't go without it in the end. See you around. Alright, fine. I will wander down and get you your booze. Just to keep you happy. It's down here somewhere. I want to wander in through here, and... He desperately needs his booze. There is his booze. Fitzsimmons Mead. Now we can run this back up to him and let him have a drink. And then he's probably going to have a tale or two to tell us about dreadful things that happened. Hey there. Oh, I'm so very thirsty. Won't you buy a drink for this poor pathetic fool? Ah, that hits a spot. And loosens the tongue. Thanks, mate. Bolstered Fitzsimmons continues his tale. I am the sole survivor of the ill-fated Third Fleet of Kaltiris, wrecked off the coast of the north. One of our ships was hidden... On one of our ships was hidden a great and terrible treasure, and the eerie power of it keeps the souls of my brothers trapped within the ship's rotting hulls. I'm haunted by them day and night. First mate Snellick calls for me. He's supposed to be dead. Please, Beldrast, look for him near the shipwrecks and just tell him to leave me alone. Be careful. Right, so we got to go and find a ghost and persuade him to leave this poor fella alone because he can't take the awful summons of it any longer. Uh, we'll go and do that in a minute because that one is up there. What we want to do is we want to jump down here and go and get the, you know, do, do the crab fishing bit. Before I actually jump over there to do the crab fishing though, I'm going to go out this way. Because uh, we've also got sharks that we need to get out there. I'm going to go over the bridge. I'm just going to see if there's any quests up this way as well. Um, that's the event item going on over there. So that's nothing to do with us. That's, uh, well, you can pick up a quest from here. And then there's a few other bits that you can do as well. Although there doesn't seem to be anything that you can do with this one. You've got the Fire Eater, Midsummer Celebrant, Summer Scorcher. The Scorchling, I should say. Hey there. Um, speak to a master for, see, yeah, see I, 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 I don't want to do those. I, I'm not going to do those. Right, so we can now run down here. We've got to go for the harbor shred fins, which are the giant crabs, and not the crabs, the, the harbor crawlers, the crabs. 
Um, so we need the shred fins. And we also need the crabs at the same time. So we'll go with that one. There. Take that one down. I forgot that I'm not actually an AoE targeter. I'll go and swim over this way. See if I can get that. There we go. Right, I've got that one. And quickly get my pets to go and attack him as well. And then I'll take him down and I will do that. And then we can finish him up there. Right, so there's two of them. There are two. Question remains, can I skin... I don't think I can skin crabs. I've got half-digested row right there. Medium leather. Light leather. Now, where's that crab? That oh, I wasn't close enough to actually loot him. I've got a crab crawler over there that I can get. And then there is a shred fin up that way. Pets are going in on there. All right, I'll, I'll do this. There. Just take him down and then we'll, we'll go and get that harbor crawler over there as well. We can attack him. I need a target. I need a target. Right. Crawler meat there. Crawler claw. That's not what I'm after. Five meaty claws. And I can't skin the crabs either. All right. Let's, let's just go up the surface a second. Because I can get crabs not only in here. I can also catch crabs in the harbor as well. In the port. So it's entirely possible for us to go back to the port and catch crabs there. Um, I guess, really, it, like, it's, it doesn't matter where we go. We're, we're still able to catch crabs fairly easily, so long as, um, well, they, they just kind of, like, turn up everywhere. Let's get these two a second. And harvest them. That's five shred fins. I'm going to get five more. I'm going to grab some of these crabs. There's one. There's another. There's another down over that way. Pets are running towards it. I'll go like that. And I'll also do an AoE. Um, I guess I can just stay here. Doing... What, what was that? Oh, wait. My, my pet's nearly dead. Feed, feed pet. I don't have a target. My pet is dead. Okay, well, the, the th things have take, taken an unfortunate turn. I wasn't keeping it. One meaty cr Seriously, one? That's all I've got so far? And a dead pet. That's that's just wonderful, isn't it? Right, where's... There's Wilma. We've got Wilma... You must dismiss... What? Oh, i got I got to revive, revive pet. That's what we got to do. We've got to revive the pet. Okay, bring her back to life like that. And she's now 100%. I've got to remember to heal the pet. It's very, very important to heal the pet. Let's get that shred fin there. And then there's a, a harbor crab there. And then there's another harbor crab over there like that. Um, I can do that. And then I want to take this one down first. Get my pets over on him as well. Right, there's that one out doesn't really matter there if I do that that's taking him out and and others and then we can f heal our pet up feed pet what feeds your pet the sele oh the selected item no I don't want to do that I want to mend pet there that's what I want I want to mend the pet I don't, I don't want to feed it at all. I just want to mend it. Okay, we can go here. There's another crab claw. I'm running out of breath. I am fast running out of breath. Let's, let's go up the surface a second. Let's, let's just sit up here. Like that. Head just above water. Do that a minute. And then we come back down here. And we'll go after some more of these old shred fins. There's one. There's another one over there. There's two of them. So my pets are going for those big time. And then I'm going to go over this way. And I'm going to get that one. I want my pets to go after him as well. And then I can start using AoE sort of um, type shots like that. And then I can focus on this one last of all. And we've leveled up. Look at that. Fantastic. Right. Black Rock Depths is unlocked. We haven't got any new abilities, but we have leveled up. I like the fact that we've leveled up. Let me skin these three. So there's some light leather. 
medium leather. Medium is good. Medium is good. We're, we're making the transition now. Unfortunately, if we want to be able to level up our skill here properly, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to spend quite a bit of time hunting and gathering skins in like so that we can level up our skinning skill all the way up because we're, we're not going to be able to just from our normal le leveling we're, we're going to get gotten through normal leveling too fast it won't actually work which i mean i suppose that's not all that unfortunate. It, just, it, it, it is kind of like a, a downside to um, how fast we can level. If you want to level up something within, uh, if you want to, if you want to get a skill that would normally be within the level range, you have to spend quite a bit longer working on it, and that's what we're going to end up having to do. Let me just take out that shred fin up there a second. That's that's the last shred fin that we need. I got I this. Have a target. Harbor crawl. I, I still need two lots of meaty claw. I've got everything else. So I just need two more meaty claws. I'm not going over to the ship just yet. I'm going to do this quest here and then I'm going to go back to the village. To the village, to the town. Back to Menethil. My pets are out of range. Too far away. Right, you go over there to that one. And then I can start taking these out. There we go. We, we got that bit. And take you as well. Excellent. Wilma's weight. i got to keep an eye. I've got to learn to keep an eye on my pet. She's down to 17% health. Nothing there. I could probably do with going up to the surface here a second. And that harbour shred fin could also probably do with going down as well. It looks like he's kind of stuck. This one is near the bank means that he, he could have like been glitched which is one of the reasons I wanted to take him out there and oh another thing professional journeyman nice we have now leveled up obtain 150 points in a classic skill like on here hunter tracking track beasts demons dragonkin elementals giants hidden humanoids undead I can track every kind I can literally track everything. I can track every single type of creature you can think of. I'm going to leave the rest of them. I'm just going to track beasts at the moment. And that way, you know, we, we can sort of see where we want to go. Although, no... No, I'm, I'm not actually. That's just going to end up irritating me, I think. So I, I'm not going to... We, we've got track beasts here as a thing that we can do. Right, I'm going to turn that one off. Didn't I have something there before? I don't think I did. Um, Yeah, we, we, we've got... The, there's the track beasts option that we can use, but I, I don't think I'm actually going to use it. I think I'm going to leave it turned off because it's, um, it's the sort of thing that's going to end up, I think taking up too much time and space in my um like on my, on my mini map it's, it's gonna if i'm hunting for beasts later then yes maybe we will seriously consider using it but at the moment i'm not gonna worry about it now i want that harbor crawler down there we need one more giant claw so chances are we're going to need to get like 300 of the things i uh, got a model raptor down here so let me just come up here we've got that the raptor is on his way you guys come up here and get this one. And then that crawler can come up here out of the water. I think. Should be able to. I'm going to mend pet while we're doing this. And then there's the model raptor. I'll take that one down as well. Okay, we don't we don't have anything. But I can skin it. You can skin that one. Now let's let's wander on round again and uh there's a I'm out of range. I'm out of range. Grab that one over there. And then I want to come back up here. Uh, pets are out of range. Right, they should be coming up here to get him. There. Now, we sort of persuade the harbour crawler to come out of the water as well. There. Now, now he's come out of the water. And then I can go after the mottled raptor. There, like that. Oops, steady. I fell down. 
And I got the last one right. That's good. That's, that's what I wanted. I just wanted that last one. And then I've got an egg off of the rapture as well, which is a cooking ingredient. I mean, it's the sort of thing that we want to gather up. We're going to need a few of them. But now I've got... Oh, you know, I can just half back. We're half back and we'll go and turn in the two quests. And we may get some more because I'm pretty sure there are other quests to do up around here. we just got to collect them first from the, the correct townsfolk that we need to go and visit. Let me wander outside over here. So it's not you. I need to go and speak to this dude over here. Tell him that I've got crabs. Carl be with you. Boren, don't bother with the smaller claws. They're more work than... They're more to shell than the meat's worth. A hearty seafood dinner will lift everyone's spirits and help us get the town back in shape again. Thanks for the help, Eldrast. It's been hard on all of us, but we're getting by. You just gotta roll up your sleeves and do what needs to be done. Murlocs are crawling out from the deep waters and building their villages on the coastline. They are harassing our fishers and merchants and must be stopped. One of these Murlocs, Gobbler, sculpts, skulks within other bluegill Murlocs and harries merchants along the road, always then retreating to the safety of the nearby Murloc hovels. Our merchants are in jeopardy, and we will pay to secure them. Gobbler prowls River Inlet north of here. Find him, slay his kin, and bring me his head. Okay, looks like we're going headhunting. Not long ago, a merchant vessel, the Blind Princess, was raided by Murlocs. Although the ship escaped intact, much of its cargo was dragged overboard by the creatures, including a very valuable statuette of, of Terranus Minithil. We want that statuette recovered. Search the coastal Murloc hovels for crates, barrels, and other evidence of lost cargo. Find the Menethil statue, the uh, statuette, and return it to me. Go with honor, friend. Right, we can do that. We will go and find the statue now. You here? Welcome. Oh, bless your heart, dear, to, to do such a. Uh, oh, bless your heart to do such a thing for a married woman like me. You're too kind. Watch your back. Yeah, no worries. No worries. That's that's what I'm all about. Good deeds. Good deeds. That's 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 me. It's just good deeds through and through. Right, on to the ram and we've got no other quests here, so we can head out this way. I think there may end up being some more. So we've got one here. We need to try to find Gobbler's head here somewhere. Reclaiming the goods and there's something up there. I'm pretty sure Swift Gear Station does also have a quest or two. I mean, it might not. We'll wander up there and we'll have a look. Um, and then we go over there to the dig site. That's something that we'll do a little bit later. But right now we're going hunting murlocs. And large quantities of murlocs as well. Right, we've got this right here. There's a, there's a quest there. Reclaiming the goods, claws from the deep. But there's a quest there. I'm wondering if that's talking to... Talking to some, I, you know, I don't know. We got to we got to turn in over there anyway. We, we can turn something in. So let's let's go after some of these murlocs here. Uh, bluegill murlocs. So it doesn't really matter which bluegill murlocs, just as long as I take down some bluegill murlocs. So I'll take down those. I got a forager there, and I had a, a, a regular murloc, and I want that one. He's running away from me. I can't skin these guys, but we do get cloth off of them because they're humanoids. So there's something going. Oh, that's the the quest, isn't it? That's all that is. That's the quest right there. I want to do that. Get the pets going after that one. Why are you attacking me? You should not be attacking me. Right, I'll just take that one down there and then go like that. Ooh, nice. That Chimera shot is actually pretty good. That does a lot of damage. That's, that's a very powerful spell. I got baby murlocs. You can't kill baby murlocs. This crate is covered with clawed scratches and the marks of water damage. Prying it open reveals soggy... And rotted straw, as if something of value was stored in the crate. You search through the straw and find an armload of red bottles. So we get some healing potions. You thoroughly search this cluster of Murloc hovels and find no trace of the Menifil statuette. Perhaps one of the two nearby hovels to the north and northeast will have more clues. I see. So it's basically just a string of quests that keep going on until we get the right one. Now, the blue gift for Gobbler, I think you've just got to keep attacking... 
other Murlocs until the right, until Gobbler turns up. I don't think, like, anything else happens. I think you just continuously chuck these things out. Let's go and attack that one then. There we go. I think he, like, he, he's not a spawn that's around all the time. He, he turns up every now and then. There's a Puddle Jumper. There's another Puddle Jumper. I'm going to get both of those out. I'm going to attack that one with my pets. Chimera shot. Now we just spam the Viper thing. There. Spam that Viper thing. Oh, get my pets to do stuff. Get my Wilma to repair herself. Very important. We've got to remember to keep doing that. Bluegill Murloc. I'll go with the Oracle over here because I also want to go over this way and get some stuff. Um, and you. Let me attack that one and then do that. Right. Chimera shot there. Oop. Too far away. He's running away. Come back here. Cheat. I have to run over after him. This whole being able to run fast is quite handy when you're going after loot. Because when, when you've got a ranged character, going after the loot takes a bit longer. Like when you when you don't have a... Oh, there's Gobbler. There he is. There's Gobbler. Dear, dear, lovely Gobbler. I'm going to put that down there and then I'm going to do that. I'm going to mend pet and I'm also going to get in some of these others as well. Bring them all in over here. Right, now we go with Gobbler. And I'm going to get you as well. Like that. Chimera shot on that one. Uh, you, I can Viper. Gobbler, oh, no. Go with this blue Gil Murloc right here. Shoot that one. So we're taking him down. And then I got Gobbler over here. I think now, right, what have I got? I got exhilaration heals me for 30% of my maximum health. I don't need to worry about that. What other things? Are, that's feign death. I don't need to do that. Uh, I think we are doing pretty well here. We got thick murloc scales, which are, or well, they used to be at least, a um, thick murloc scale is still a crafting reagent. There is a couple of armor items that you can make, or leather working items that you can make. Using um, thick Murloc scales. Murloc fins, however, those are cooking ingredients. I think they... Well, I think... Pretty sure those are cooking ingredients. It does sound a little bit um, nasty, using them for cooking ingredients. This barrel is largely untouched. Prying it open, you're assaulted by the pungent odour of cheese. It's a little wet, but still tasty. Ten slices of dwarven mild. That's fantastic. This grouping of Murloc hovels after a thorough inspection reveals nothing. But you're certain you're the next clue you find will be fruitful. One of the hovels to the north must have the Menethil statuette. Right. Hovels to the north. Got some over this way. There is a Bluegill Oracle. There's a Murloc. Take you down here. Uh, I can take I you out pretty quickly, actually. Uh, there's, there's both of them. Boom. Gone. Murloc fin. Wool cloth. And that is the barrel we're looking for. This barrel is halfway buried amidst the mud and the grass. After pulling the barrel free from the muck and opening it, a, silver fig a silvery figurine is found packed in his fine straw. It depicts a young, long-haired paladin with hammer raised. This must be the Menethil statuette. You must now return it to Carl Boron in Menethil Harbour. Right, we have just got... You've learned a new passive effect, Exhilaration. Exhilaration also heals your pet for 100% of maximum health. I see. So now, I instantly heal my pet for all health that they have lost. And heal me for 30%. That is actually a bit more useful. Well, unfortunately, folks, the bear is getting a wee bit tired. And... Well, I suppose we could admit that we're getting a little bit tired as well. So we're going to have a little bit of rest and recuperation, enjoy some meat and mead. And while we do that, if you've enjoyed the episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.